Today's word will continue to be love. Have you heard of the term agape love? It is used in the Bible and it means sacrificial love. Agape love is not primarily a feeling that happens to people. It is a choice to act in the way Jesus did that will bring well-being to others. The truth about love is that it is more important than having spiritual knowledge or special abilities, and nothing really matters without love. So does love impact your thoughts and actions? Listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to read the first seven verses. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes. Love always perseveres. What I want to encourage you in today is to review Scripture's definition of love and consider how Jesus loves you with the description that Paul gives. Think about how Jesus is patient, kind, humble, and selfless toward you. Then let that thought not only fuel your prayer, but motivate you to love other people.